Okay, so both robots are happy, just like you guys are happy. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and start. Welcome everybody to this interoperability demo. We're gonna be talking about VDA 5050. If you came by this morning, we were also talking about other interoperability standards. This is just a tiny bit different. So, my name is Angel. I'm with Inorbit, the robot operation uh, platform, the leading company in robot operations and robot operations. Um, we've had a very extensive collaboration with our friends at Auto Motors here. So we've been developing a lot of uh, different pieces of software here. Sorry, I was looking at a robot. It's very cool when you have two robots moving at the same time. So we've been working with our friends at Auto, developing this VDA 5050 connector. This is something that um, took us a while, but we also decided to go ahead and release it open source. So in case you guys don't know, interoperability is obviously something we care about from in orbit. And our end users also care about it. You will run into situations where you have more than one robot vendor operating at the same time in the same facility, probably doing uh, similar tasks even. You might have forklifts going from one location to another and smaller robots carrying boxes also being part of that same process. So that's when interoperability comes into the game and standards are always a good thing. For a company like Inorbit, where we are um, the interoperability platform in, is the, in this case, having these standards is really important. So in this case, VDA 5050 will allow us to show us these then. Auto brought our beautiful Auto 100, and we're gonna show you here this interaction between a very smart AMR and an AGB, it's not an AGB. We know it's not an AGB, but we're using the Mir robot just as an AGB. We're making it not replant as much as possible and just going from one location to another. So we'll be showing something, we'll be showing uh, the coordination that we can provide with through VDA 5050. In this case, Inorbit will act as the master controller. So again, this is an open source, an open source package that we release together with Auto. So in case you guys are, how many of you are AMR vendors here? Raise your hands. Some people make AMRs, that's pretty cool. So in case you have AMRs or you're developing AMRs, you should probably, okay, fine, that robot got upset. Um, you should look at our GitHub repo. That's an open source package that we put we put up for everyone. So now, let's go back to this, obviously, this factory that we have here. This is a factory space. We are manufacturing, I have this, I have this ready, so I didn't have to like look into my pocket for it. We're manufacturing, in here, we are manufacturing in our pitos, our mascot. We were supposed to have like 3D, like 3D printed in Orbitos, so I could like show you one. But we, I have stickers, okay? So if you guys want stickers of in Orbitos, we'll we'll have a bunch here. We are at a factory. We're manufacturing in Orbitos. AGV. Our AGV is taking material from one place to another in a very well coordinated fashion on its own. But our AMR is um, taking is working on a similar task. The problem we have in this factory is that we need to coordinate these two robots. We need to coordinate the traffic. We need to help improving that, that traffic management. So this coordination is what we are doing through Inorbit. We can, we can show our facility here at Inorbit. So on this screen on your left, I guess. So on the screen on your left or right, actually, you can see how we had multiple facilities. We're gonna zoom in and show you the facility that we have right now, where we have these two robots moving around. There we go, so you see you see a pretty map. Let me point something out first. That's obviously not a robot map. That's a map that we put out for, uh, we made it prettier, so all the robots can actually um, coexist in the same facility, in the same map, in the same facility, and now they are going, we're gonna show the coordination. So, there we go. 
So now you can see a couple labels and you'll see, just because we're gonna force this traffic jam right now, you're gonna see a couple labels on the robot. And I can, of course, this is a smart AMR, right? So if I get close to auto, the auto will read line around me. And we'll probably get very upset, like now. And we'll start honking, there you go. So it gets very upset. Of course, my AGV would do, would do the same. Um, what we're gonna show you is how when these two robots get close to each other, we're gonna do, we're gonna trigger that, there you go, auto is gonna do its thing. We are going to show the, um, um, we're gonna show that coordination in a minute when that happens. In this case, let me tell you that Auto is using the VDA 5050 open source package that we put together with them, right? You can download it, but Mir, or in this case, our pretended AGV, is connected to the same platform via, um, via our own Edge SDK, so Inorbit's SDK, Edge SDK, which is something that we provide through our Inorbit Connect program. If you guys are developing your own um, AGVs, this is something that you can that you can also do. AGVs, AMRs. So, what's going to happen now? Auto is going to start coming on the left, from the left, your right. Once our traffic management system kicks in, you'll see that these two robots will interact. So thanks to VDA 5050, Auto will pause its navigation and you'll hear it stopping. I guess not in it. There you go. So we're pausing the navigation via VDA 5050. Once the AGB is gone, it resumes and it can continue on its Okay, I'm not on the way. And it can continue doing its thing. That, all that, all that interaction, it might, it might look simple, but this is two companies that have nothing to do with each other. They don't even speak the same language. And thanks to, to VDA 5050, we can help coordinate their traffic. That's, that's important in case you're, you're planning to have multiple robots in your facility. Now, VDA 5050, Okay, so this is on your screen. You can see our, uh, you can see how we are showing tasks coming from uh, either of these robots, right? So we can, we can obviously show how the, um, we can show, so we can show, we can show how uh, all the mission details or the orders in this case, in VDA 5050, we call it order potato potato. It's gonna be, we're, I'm gonna probably calling it, keep calling it order. I'll try to keep calling it order. So if we go to, let's let's go show them. No, oh, sorry. When you are integrating, um, when you're integrating this standard, it's fairly easy for your developers to come and create, um, come and use the tools that we've developed, right? So in this case, for engineers and operations people, Inorbit offers this CLI tool that makes it straightforward to deliver actions and missions by providing a YAML or a JSON file, just like you have right there. Um, actions can be made available to the entire fleet, Fleet. So if we can, can we show the actions here on the screen? Because I think I missed that part. So uh, once you define an action through uh, that tool or other means, you can always come into your panels here and again, trigger all this through um, VDA 5050. So in this case, these actions you see here would be for, um, would, would be triggered for the auto robot for our smart AMR. That robot would be taking actions via VDA 5050, regardless of um, whether it's an AGV, an AMR, it, you only have to define them once and they will be triggered and shown on, and 
and um, consumed by the right robot. How, are, how many of you are doing interoperability right now? Can you raise your hands? I have some hands here. So I guess if you're, there you go, so I, we have some hands here. So once you are, um, once you're starting to get multiple robots, this is, this is really relevant, right? So, um, do you wanna, do you wanna chip in and um, help us? No, no, okay. So VDA5050 obviously provides a lot of data that we can, um, that robot operations platforms can use. This is one of them. So here you can see the, um, you can see what we call time capsule. We are reporting everything, or we're recording everything that the robot does. So you can figure out where your robot spent most of its time. This is, this is relevant, especially if you're doing maintenance, if you are, um, if you're, trying to figure out what the robot, where the robot is spending time, where the robot might have failed or has done something uh, unexpected. So this is another tool that we can provide and the information is always coming through that VDA 5050 standard. Um, do you guys have here, do you guys have any questions about VDA 5050 standard?